Hi fellow dreamers, in this video we're going to explore your question about astral projection and astral travel. And then after that I've got a surprise for you on a whole new project we're working on, okay? Thanks for joining, my name is Carolina. As you know, I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace. And I also help my followers interpret their dreams. We do this because when we listen to our dreams we're connecting to our subconscious and when we share them we connect with one another on a more profound level. Okay, so let's get started with the topic of today. We're going to start with astral projection projection okay this has been known in various cultures and in many names but the idea behind astral projection is the idea of having an out-of-body experience okay many people say that they have this experience right before they go to bed okay there's this sense of you know they're about to fall asleep but then there's this sense of like this energy okay the energy within just kind of whoop, leaving the body okay they say that they have this feeling of leaving the body and oftentimes they can start traveling, okay? They can start traveling within the room, within other areas, etc. That's when we get to astral travel, okay? But basically, they have this feeling of leaving the body. So it can happen during a uh, dream state, right before you go into it. Or number two, it can actually happen when you're meditating. Has it happened to you before that you are meditating, you are totally chill, you know, love, unity, and peace all the way. And then all of a sudden, you have this feeling like you're floating and you can actually see yourself up above uh, and, and see yourself down below, right? You're like up here above, uh, seeing yourself down below. You see everything that's going on in the room. Maybe you see your funny dog in the background, etc. Right? It's happened to people within meditative state too. Now there aren't all of the answers out there people are still exploring this idea of astral projecting and astral travel so there's still many things to be explored and it's wonderful to hear about different people's experiences so that we can learn more from them but now when we're talking about astral traveling oftentimes not only can it happen in dream state and meditative state, but you can access everything just like in dream state, okay? When we think about this, remember in dream state, we access things in the past, okay? We can access things in the present, in the future, and of course, various dimensions above and below. There have been some astral travelers out there who say that they have been able to tap into these various areas just like they would in dream state, but they uh, explain this astral travel as being different and that there's a little bit more of an effort of deciding where to go, okay? It it's not quite as flexible as it is in dream state. In astral projection, you're kind of just a viewer. You're kind of just seeing, okay? There's not much that you can do to change the scenario itself, uh, but with a lucid dream, you're able to change the scenario, change everything. So they're kind of two different experiences, but again, they're within this whole amazing world where you can access everything, okay? So that's one of their connections there. But when we're talking about um, astral travel. Remember that this is something that is not dangerous. Sometimes people uh, believe that this is something very fearful. Okay, they get scared to explore it. Uh, and you know what? There is no push to explore it or not to explore it. It's very neutral, right? Let's stay very neutral about it. But just know that if you happen to have an experience where you're like, well, I just left my body, keep your cool keep your chill. Remember, we always want to be in that energy of love, unity, and peace because if we're within that energy, that is the energy we give off. That is the places we're going to travel to. That is the energy we're going to welcome within us. Okay, so we always want to stay in that energy of love, unity, and peace. So I can give you my very uh, short experience. I had my very first experience with this. Uh, it's been years ago when it happened the first time, but I'll explain it to you and you let me know below how your experience was. Okay, so I was taking a nap, okay? It was during the daytime and I was taking a nap. And as I was taking a nap, I was just feeling so comfortable, so great. I was just, you know, really into that nap. I really needed it, all right? So then during that time, I remember just feeling super light and feeling super floaty, okay? And I felt my energy just kind of pick itself up, okay? And it was as if I knew that I had left my body, but I was okay with that at that moment. And then I had two choices in my mind. I had the choice of, I'm going to leave the body and explore this room and go downstairs and see what people are up to and I'm going to be nosy. That was option one. Okay. And then option two was like, or I can turn around and see my face and see how that's like, right? But because it was my first time, I was not ready for any of that. I said, you know what? This is enough for me. Um, I have received the message that leaving the body is a possibility. Okay. I took it as a message, accepted, message accepted. And then I said, right now I want to go back into the body though. I'm not ready to fully out there explore everything. So I just let myself get back into the body. And then I woke up. I woke up and I opened my eyes and I just remember thinking, I'm like, oh my goodness, 
how did that happen? How did I make that happen? But the thing was, it was um, something that I felt was so natural. I didn't intend to do that uh, at all. I didn't intend to do it. Uh, it just happened naturally. So I just recommend to you that if this happens to you, that you just stay in that energy of love, unity, and peace. So that way you can do whatever it is that you choose, whatever it is that you want and feel comfortable with. Okay. And remember guys, whenever we're talking about doing anything, whether it be with astral travel, meditation even, or things in dream state, you are always in control of it. Okay. That's why we're always talking about the importance of being in that energy of love, because if you're in the energy of love, those are the things you're going to attract to you. Okay. Oftentimes I hear people say that they're fearful to have a lucid dream. They're fearful to accidentally leave the body. They're fearful of these things. And of course it's normal to be uh, fearful of the unknown. But remember, if we stay within that energy of love, your experience will be a loving one and you will learn from it. Okay. We want to keep our cool throughout the whole experience. And guys, I want to let you know this is a short video today but um, I've got some news for you okay and that is that I am working on book number three and guess what this book is an adult book okay and this is going to be specifically about the dream world okay everything that we've talked about in the dream world um, and many more things that I continue to learn from my own experience uh, and from my dreamers we are going to put a book together and we are going to share it with you soon it's starting now uh, so you can expect our adult book to be out soon I will have more information about it in a later video but be prepared because I will be uh, sharing new information here. It's going to be very exciting. So let's continue to grow together. And remember, let's stay in that energy of love so that way we can attract that energy to us, but also offer it to people who are in need of it. All right, guys, I send you a huge hug. I send you love, unity, and peace, and we will be in contact. Bye, everybody.